Hi everyone, Saskia here from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue and I want to talk about hay today. Timothy hay is a very important part of your guinea pig's diet and there are so many different types of hay, different brands, different sizes, prices, I mean there's just so much out there. So I, what I did is I bought a whole bunch of hay, all kinds of different brands, brands you probably know, some lesser known brands, some bigger known brands, and I just want to see, let's go and see what they look like. Um, I think we're going to learn a lot here and I want to talk about the different types of hay as well. We have our hay also that we buy locally, that is a really nice hay, which I actually can start by showing you right now. This is our hay which I love our hay because it's green and it's got like nice little seed heads in it. The stems are not too hard. This is just like perfect. This is my idea of perfect hay. So I have them all behind me. So why don't we just go take a look and see a little up closer what I have here. Okay, so here we have our whole selection that we've put up here. Now let's go take a close peek at all of them. There's some that you've heard of, some probably you haven't. Vitacraft, Sweet Meadow, Zupreme, KT, Small Pet Select, Living World, Oxbow. There is KMS Hayloft. Um, so this is kind of like, you know, the bigger ones out there that you can buy. So let's start taking a closer look at each bag. Okay, let's go start over here, shall we? Let's look, let's look at this one. Sweet Meadow Hay. Now, this is, feels like a first, uh, sorry, a third cut, like a really soft one. And it's, it says it's a go green sweet meadow with an earth friendly bag, organically grown, vet recommended, um, earth friendly bag. I'm not sure what that means, it's plastic. Um, anyways. So this looks like very soft hay. It's, you know, I'm not sure if this is something that I would buy this particular brand. Um, okay, let's move over here. So this is the Guinea Dead hay. Let's see, you know, that, that looks nice. It's green, looks good. I'm just not sure about the packaging of it. I'm not sure how much gig pigs are actually going to dig it out it's super tight in there so i i don't know how easy that would be to really get to all of it in this way uh, now we go move on to vitacraft the premium sweet grass hay and that oh that has a lot of like dust in there see that in the bottom that is something I don't like to see because your piggies are never gonna eat that. And then it kind of, just at the end of the bag, you just get a whole bunch of this teeny pieces there to, that are not, you know, it's kind of wasteful. And this is a shorter hay, I notice. It's kind of shorter than, a, than the other hays and it's got some little bit of seed heads in there. Not too bad. So, let me see, Zupreme. This is Zupreme hay. Zupreme. Well, Zupreme has the same lot of this dry stuff. You see, when hay gets dry, like super dry, it just kind of becomes powdery. And uh, that's, as you can see, is what happened here. And lots of brown pieces in here. Um, so I don't think I'm a big fan of that one. Um, what I'm also noticing is that all these bags, these are all very small. They're tiny compared to what guinea pigs actually eat. Um, guinea pigs eat so much hay and they should always have access to hay. So it's not like I'm going to give my guinea pig just a little handful of hay and that's, that's good for the day. You want to make sure you give them a handful and then another handful and another. <laughs> basically want to make sure there is always hay in the cage so uh, these smaller bags you're going to just go through them so fast but it also gives it a full sense of like i only need to feed my guinea pig this much hay because you know i buy a bag should last me a month kind of thing and i can guarantee you that this bag this size is not enough uh definitely not enough um okay well, let's move on to kt their wafer cut 
So wafer cut means, I guess, that they, they, the, the stems are very long and they cut it with the machine to make this pieces smaller. Um, this one is very hard. I can feel it's, it's super hard. Um, it's very stringy. Now I noticed that guinea pigs are not that keen on hay that is super stringy like this with these pieces. So that, you know, it looks nice though. It's, it's green and it, but I can just feel the hard, super hard pieces in there that, uh, you know, like I can feel them so hard. Okay, let's move on to Oxbow, Orchard Hay. And I think that this, this, is, this is this one. So orchard hay. Now, that's not a Timothy hay, that's more like a grass hay. And I always like orchard hay because it is soft. It looks really nice and it's soft. The problem with orchard hay is that guinea pigs prefer Timothy hay. They just love it. So this is the Oxbow Timothy hay. And a lot of dust in the bottom as well see that how much dust there is which either could be because the the hay is older but you can see how it kind of you know collects Let's make sure you can really see it yeah um that that is an indication too that it's maybe not super fresh but i mean i'm not a hay specialist so don't hold me to that um and we got small pet select which there are three bags here because they actually have a first, second and third cut hay, which is really nice because you can choose, pick and choose or give all three. And I think they also have like a sample pack where you can actually buy first, second and third cut. Now the difference is in, is in when it was harvested. So when you have a first cut, it means it was harvested in the first, you know, in the summer. Then they let it grow again, and then they get you the second cut, and then they let it grow again, and then the last harvest of the season is your third cut, which is the softest. Okay, so these they look fairly similar. First, second, and third. They look fair. Sorry, uh, the first and the second look fairly similar, um, but I'm always a fan of the first cut, and. Uh, looks great looks nice there's no dust whatsoever in here looks good um, nice pieces it's not too hard a lot of gr I love to see these these little green ones here the longer green strands because those definitely are guinea pigs favorites um, then we look at the second and you see how that is just it's a little different from the first it's still you know it's nice but it feels a little harder actually this one and then we have this third cut, which is all nice and soft. And as you can see, what I did notice is that it's super fresh because none of the, these have that kind of um, collected, you know, that stuff that collects at the bottom. So also what I like about this, uh, this one is, as you can see, it's fresh because there's no, there's nothing um, collecting at the bottom with a hay that is not as fresh like let's see uh, this one you see all the stuff collecting um, that I don't like that this is a nice hay it doesn't collect at the bottom um, I just I just love it that's a good it's a good hay and you can like I said you can buy this in the the three pack so you can feed all three you know it's nice guinea pigs like very you know variation so maybe try and see what see if they like a little harder hay a little softer hay every now and then living world um wow okay that looks really yellowish and i don't know it's it's got lots of seed heads um but maybe we just got a bad bag or something but I don't like the seed heads, but this, you know, the greener the hay, the better. That's what I always say, because you need it to be nice and fresh and cured and right. And so that's, I don't know why that, that ended up like that. Okay, which one is this? This is Stanley Western Forage. That is a new one I hadn't heard of, but apparently people do know about this brand. But as you can see, Again, it collected a lot of dry stuff at the bottom in the corner here. But overall, it's nice. 
nice seed heads not too crazy hard um, now this one I'm a little disappointed with this one I had expected better this is KMS Hayloft and these are just like stringy it's very stringy and whenever we get the stringy like this in our uh, in our hay they don't eat it so basically they don't eat it it's like uh, we have to throw it away maybe they're just they pick the little pieces out of it that they like like the little you know little sh um, thinner um, blades but then the, the really thick kind of stems I can just see the sticks we call them they don't eat those so this is a particular type I guess of you know or maybe every now and then it grows like that I don't know we get batches of that sometimes in our hay and we already know that they're not going to eat it so that is a uh, very sad so anyway um I was expecting better so these are our hays and then just to bring up my our hay as well as a comparison and let's let's do this let's just kind of compare our hay with all the others ours is a little greener for sure there is no comparison here or there or there or there that is a different hay altogether yeah okay and you know what it looks actually pretty darn good this looks just like our hay this is which one is this again small pet select and there's no comparison there and this one also if you look close and that is of course the stringy one so did i miss anybody no okay so i'm gonna pick the top three that looks as the closest to our hay um and then we'll take a closer look at those okay so i picked some and i'm gonna mix it up and honestly i don't know who's who they all look similar to the hay we have which i like so um you know okay before we do that i wanted to show you what i meant with the dust okay this, this here is the dust Like these little pieces, oh, you can really see it here. This, so that is what I mean with dust. And I think that you get that when the hay is not that fresh. That's when you get that dust residue. You want to get the fresh hay. Um, okay, and then I also want to show you some alfalfa hay. How different that looks. And every now and then you can feed a little alfalfa just to throw something different in there. They kind of like it. It's uh, very stemmy, but what they like is not the stems, they like the green parts, the green little leaves. And our alfalfa, as you can see, is like super nice, super green. Usually you don't get it this green, it's more like all yellowed and stuff. So, But this is what we feed the horses, some of the pigs get it, and sometimes the guinea pigs will get a little snack of that as well. Okay, so I got four bags here, let's see. Okay, so can I pick ours out of here? Okay, I think this one is ours. No, wait. This one is ours. This one is ours. This one is the guinea dad. And that one is a Stanley. Yes, so far so good. Yay! I got it. Nice. Well, I guess these two are the winners then off of this particular test, which is our hay, which is not for sale. But this one is. It's just small pet select first cut. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Well, our hay is for sale here. Is what? It's for sale here. Oh yes, it is here for when you come and adopt, but we don't ship it out, unfortunately. A lot of people ask, but we just don't. We don't have the infrastructure. We're too busy taking care of the guinea pigs. 
But um, yeah, so get, get, this gave you a bit of an idea how important hay is, what you really want to look for in your hay. Uh, super, super important because if you give a low quality hay, it's, it's you know, it's going to reflect on, on your animal's health. So it's very important. And again, I can't stress enough that guinea pigs need unlimited hay. So you want to make sure that you have hay in that cage at all times. If you ever have a moment there's no hay in the cage, not good. You come home and there's no hay or no pellets, not good. Keep it filled, okay? They're graze animals and they need to eat all day long. So you want to make sure that they always have a little to nibble if they want to. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, I'm on the way to the hay room. I want to show you our hay. And everyone <laughs> is yelling. They want the food. Hi. You see Masha there with the crested there? She was one of the snake babies. She's blind. The crested a goody brown there with a the little orange head. So you guys are waiting for dinner, I can tell. Yeah, you think I'm bringing dinner. Too early, girls. Sorry. Okay, so here is the hay room. When we have a good batch of hay, we make sure that we order a lot. Because the hay is not always good quality because we don't grow our own hay, so we can't really tell. But as soon as we can find hay that's good, we just make sure we get a whole bunch. So this is what you want to look for in that hay. Like these, these nice pieces here. These lovely green pieces. Um, you'll see that it's a little discolored on the outside and that is what sunlight will do. So if you have hay, don't keep it in the sun or keep it in a dark bag or something or in the box because I see some of the companies that sell the hay have them in these plastic bags that are see-through. That doesn't do the hay any justice at all. So there. I wanted to show you our hay. Thanks, guys.